Good morning, everyone. I hope you're off to a great week. Today's news story comes from Japan. Now, since taking office last year, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has made it absolutely clear he hopes to change Japan's constitution. And the change that he's most advocating in public is to call for the creation of a military force in Japan. Now, currently, Japan has what is called the Self Defense Force, and it looks like a military force. It acts like a military force. So changing the constitution to allow for the creation of a military force isn't that much of a big deal. It is, in fact, the de facto military arm of the Japanese government. And I don't have a problem with that kind of constitutional change since that entity, the self-defense force, really is a military, so call it for what it is. However, there are a few other changes that Shinzo Abe and his supporters are trying to move through that are a little alarming. Now, one of them calls for the fact that should these amendments to the Constitution pass, all citizens in Japan would have to submit to whatever the government states would be in the public interest and what would be, in a sense, conform to a public order. Now, a lot of security analysts, a lot of personal freedom advocates say that this could really limit personal freedoms in Japan because these things, per uh, public interest and public order, really aren't clearly defined. And in fact, the constitutional amendments being proposed say that the military would then enforce these public interest policies and public order policies. So it's really not sure what the direction would be. Now, I'm not all against this because in the United States, should civil unrest erupt, the military has been called in many times to help local authorities calm things down and bring things back to an order. So I'm not really in the mind that this is some grandiose conspiracy as some are advocating, but it is a little bit alarming that those terms, public interest and public order, really aren't clearly defined. However, there is one thing on a more stealthy type note that I am a little concerned about, and that is the way that future amendments and changes to the Constitution in Japan could be enacted. Now, currently, the Constitution of Japan calls for a two-thirds majority vote in both the lower and upper house of parliament before changes are then taken to a public vote where a simple majority is needed. Now, under the proposed changes that Shinzo Abe and his supporters are moving forward, that would change to just a simple majority in both houses before it's taken to the public. So why am I concerned about that? Well, let's just take a look at things right now. Uh, currently, Shinzo Abe and his supporters have a two-thirds majority in the lower house of parliament in Japan. They look to be able to have a two-thirds majority in the upper house by sometime around July, and he sits on a 70% approval rating in Japan, meaning that it's likely that this could actually pass. And then in the the future, any government with a simple majority in both houses could then take to the public a vast array of constitutional changes. You could actually have a situation where every incoming government proposes changes to the Constitution and, if they're popular enough, could get them passed. Japan could have a new constitutional amendment really, really often. And that is just a bad idea, not because of the proposed changes that Shinzo Abe is putting forward, but changing a constitution should not be that easy. A document as a, a, the constitution should really be well thought out and should really be protected. It should be very difficult to change a document of that importance to a country. So that's what's going on in Japan. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you're in Japan, is this getting a lot of discussion? In my talking with different people around the world, everyone knows about Abe's plan to institute the change for the military, but not many are talking about the proposed constitutional change to make it easier to pass further changes. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, have a great day. Be true to yourself and always be awesome.